Hey guys, and welcome back to the Ecom Freedom YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to update your title if you are getting an error that says the value blank specified cannot be used as it conflicts with the value blank. Essentially what this error is, it's Amazon cross-referencing your ASIN, so Amazon stock identification number, with the current title you have. From Amazon's records, that is not matching up. So let's just say I have the title water bottle and I have that for the ASIN, you know, one, two, three, and I want to change it to the title water bottles. That is going to conflict with Amazon's record for the ASIN one, two, three, and therefore you are going to get a error message. Without further ado, guys, I'm not going to waste your time. We're going to hop right into the video here, and I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I do and what I did when I got this error when I was trying to change the title on my listing not too long ago. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what happens with this error when we try to change the title here. So let's just say water gators shaker water bottle. Let's change it to water gators shaker water bottles with an S and we'll click save and finish. And then we get this error it says the value water gator shaker water bottle specified cannot be used as it conflicts with the water water gator shaker water bottle for ASIN blank. In the Amazon catalog, if this ASIN update the value to match the ASIN data, if this is a different product update identifying information. As you can see here, this is what I explained earlier in the beginning of the video that the title in Amazon's catalog is not matching up with the ASIN in Amazon's catalog, right? So in Amazon's, you know, kind of register that they have, there's a mismatch here that the title is conflicting with the ASIN. We need to make sure that we override this. Essentially how we're gonna do that is via a partial update with a bulk upload. The main issue is that the new title that we're using is basically not matching up exactly how it should, even though it's only an S off. Uh, of the current title that is on Amazon's register. So in order to get around this error, uh, it's actually pretty simple. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to our Amazon seller central here. We're going to go up here and we're gonna go catalog and we're gonna add our products via upload. When we come here, we're gonna say update the product details because this is one of the product details that we're gonna update. So this works for your product title, your product description, and your product bullet points. So we're gonna go to get the template here to update the details for this product you listed prior to your last 50 file submissions. You can use the product template to provide it or update all of your product details. So we're just gonna click on here. We're doing it for amazon.com in this case. Now we need to find the proper inventory flat file um, for the category that our shaker water bottle was in. So we're gonna go back here to our water gator shaker water bottle. We're gonna go on edit here. Wait for that to load up, product identity. Um, we're gonna just say view listing on Amazon. So as we can see here, the category that, or you know, subcategory that this product is in is in cocktail shakers in the home and kitchen niche. So we're just gonna go copy there. We're gonna come back here. We're gonna paste in cocktail shakers. Search, as you can see, I already did this. And home and kitchen, so we're gonna select this one and then we're gonna scroll down. I'm only doing this for amazon.com. You could also do this for amazon.ca and Amazon Mexico if you wanted to change the titles for all of them. We're gonna stay on advanced here. Generate the template. I'm gonna save the template to my desktop here. Finally, I'm gonna open that template. It's gonna open here, guys, into instructions. So you can read over all of this. It is fairly in depth, but for the interest of time in this video, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase here. So we're gonna come to template over here. And as you can see, there are a ton of values here. Product type, seller scoop, brand name, product name, product ID, product ID type and the list goes on and on, right? This actual product ID, which is your ASIN, is not going to be here. The product ID type, which is ASIN, is not going to be here. And the basic update delete, partial update, is not gonna be here. So we're gonna add those in, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Basically, to determine everything that is on this spreadsheet that we have right here, this is gonna be your legend. 
everything is going to be in here that you need to know uh for example you can have a product id type of gtin ean gcid upc or asin and it's basically just humongous legend telling you what these different values can be the product id type over here can only hold a few values for the upload to work right it can only be gtin ean gcid upc or asin and as you can see here um we're going to do the update delete as well we're going to go with the partial update because we're not deleting anything we're not completely updating the asin so i downloaded this and opened it in an excel file you can also do this in google sheets but make sure in Google Sheets, when you save it, you save it as a Excel file for the re-upload to Amazon. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna copy this ASIN, I'm gonna come to the template, I'm gonna paste it down, it's already pasted. I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here for partial update because these values need to match directly to what is in here. So I'm gonna come over here to partial update, as you can see paste that down and then finally guys this is essentially everything we need to do in here when it comes to just changing the title we can also come in and change the product description you know use the bulk upload to change the product bullet points as well but just for the interest of this uh, video we're only going to change the product title so i'm just going to go ahead and save this and we're going to come back over here to our seller central we are going to go to catalog add products via upload finally we are going to come over here to where it says upload your spreadsheet and i'm going to drag and drop this puppy over finally i am going to get this email to me i go upload this file so it says your inventory file has been received processing time will depend on the file size small files may only take a few minutes to load while large files may take up to eight hours for your reference id we have a batch id now and that is going to be showing I'm just gonna do a little refresh here and as we can see here this is our batch id the upload is in progress this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes before this change is actually reflective on your seller central and then therefore in your listing this is one of the only ways uh one of two ways that i know um how to change your title when you are getting that error code that is basically saying that the new title that you're trying to enter conflicts with the current title for the asin that is currently registered on amazon downloading that bulk template you know kind of shifting through the weeds determining whether it's a partial update you need to do or a complete update it can be a little confusing when i first started messing around with inventory flat files and bulk uploads i found it very intimidating because there's just so much information coming at you at the same time but if you just really dial it down into a granular level, it's actually pretty simple. As you guys know, I am the head of Amazon here at Ecom Freedom. We offer two free trials for both sides of our courses. We have a Amazon FBA course and a seven day free trial that is available. You'll get the first three modules for free. And we have a Shopify free trial as well, which is basically the exact same thing, guys. Uh, so you're going to be dealing with Josh and McKay over there. You guys like the free trial. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the course where you, you know, you kind of get one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, Andrew, the other Amazon mentor. One big advantage of joining the course is you actually get your products checked by myself and Andrew. We have a no BS policy here and we... We don't stand products that we don't agree with. If you guys want to check that out, just check out the free trial. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it and you want to see a bit more, I'll see you guys in the course, in the Facebook community, and feel free to send me a DM at any time. Always here to answer, guys. All right, with that, have a great week, guys. We'll, uh, we'll see you next week.